Are you a newly licensed agent and not sure how to pick your first brokerage? By the end of this video, you'll know the exact steps of what to think about and exact questions to ask in order to pick your first brokerage. For the best real estate tips and strategies, guys, follow my channel and subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when I post a video every Tuesday. Be very careful, guys. Picking the right brokerage can very well be the differentiator of failure and success as a new agent. Step number one, what kind of training and support is going to be provided to you as a new agent? You guys, it's like starting kindergarten and you're going to be learning everything from the bottom up. So you want to make sure that the brokerage that you're signing on with will give you support, will give you training and what kind of training or mentorship program is available with the brokerage, right? So the reality is as a new agent, you want to be focused on learning learning the ins and outs of the business and making sure that you're in the right brokerage to give you the right training and support for when you need it. Step number two, think about what are the commission splits being provided by the brokerage. As a new realtor, you're not getting paid from the, the brokerage, you are paying them. So what do the splits look like? Some brokerages, um, they have splits ranging from 60 to 40. So you would get your 60% and they would get 40% of the commission. And some have 70-30, 80-20 and 90-10. Some actually even offer 100% commissions to the agents and they just charge a transaction fee. So depending on what you're looking for and most new agents, you're looking for training and support. So keep that in mind. So it doesn't matter if you get, if you're keeping 100% of your commission, but if you get no training, how are you going to get business? So I would rather have, for example, 60% of something over 100% of nothing. And you would get nothing if you have zero training, right? So you really have to be cognizant of what uh, the brokerage is offering and what kind of value you're getting by giving them a certain commission split. So depending on you know how you are, uh, depending on what you need, what your needs are, focus on you know not just the commission splits, but focus on what you're getting in return. Step number three, you wanna talk to people at the brokerage, okay? Or are associated with the brokerage. Let me explain. So after you talk to the team leader or whoever's recruiting, um, ask to talk to some rookies in the, in the office, ask to talk to some agents in the office, and also do a little uh, digging and research and see who's actually joined that company before and left. So former agents of that company. That way it'll give you a lot of different perceptions of what the actual brokerage is like before you can sign on. Because the reality is people will tell you the truth and some people won't, right? So you wanna to talk to as many people as possible. So talk to the current agents there, current rookies there, and former agents of that brokerage. All right, guys, let me ask you a question. What's the number one thing that you guys are looking for in a specific brokerage? Comment below, I would love to know. Step number four, ask them if they're gonna be providing you leads. Now, some brokerages, they'll be able to give you leads, but how qualified, how motivated are those leads? We don't know. So the reality is that they would be able to, to train you to convert those leads, right? So some brokerages will give you leads, but the commission in that brokerage is gonna be 60-40, for example, right? So that makes sense. You're gonna, they're gonna give you these leads, but the commission's gonna be less for you at that point, right? Because they've done the heavy lifting kind of thing. Some brokerages will give you zero leads, but you keep 100% of the commission. So it, the, the reality is you have to understand what you're getting from your brokerage and is the, the leads important enough for you or do you have the skill set already to get your leads, right? So if you do that, leads aren't that important. So ask if they provide leads. If not, what do they provide for you? Step number five, what will you be getting from the brokerage? kind of goes back to what the commission looks like, right? Understand and try to quantify exactly what you'll be getting from the brokerage. Is it marketing? Are they gonna market for you? Are they gonna give you free printouts when you need it? Are they gonna give you leads? Like I said, are you gonna, you gonna get support staff? Are you gonna transaction coordinator? What are you getting from the brokerage that's gonna make your life easier as an agent so you can just focus on the important things? And that's when it comes down to the commission split. Once again, if you're getting all these things, then it may, maybe it makes sense to pay a higher commission to the brokerage, right? So that's when you have to kind of you know evaluate and understand what's important to you in order to make the right decision. As an example, guys, for me, when I first started out, I joined a brokerage and I paid 60-40 for a commission split. But in return, I was really heavily focused on getting training because I knew the importance of it. I did not know uh, the ins and outs of the business. And I felt that I would be more than willing to give 40% to the brokerage if I were to get training. And that's exactly what I got. But that's in the beginning of my career. 
now that you know I've, I've I understand the entire business, I've transitioned to a brokerage to where I get 100% commissions. So you know, in the beginning, you know, focus on what you need, and in return, give what you gotta give in order to learn, right? So just understand, guys, you're able to leave that brokerage whenever you want. Okay, it's not like a, a full you know, an absolute commitment that you're gonna, that you have to be there and what you need now and then transition and make changes later as you need. Number six, is there a trusted agent in that office that you can rely on if you need? That's extremely important guys, because there will be situations to where you're going to need help and you just, and it's late <laughs> and nobody's going to be, you know, nobody's going to seem like they're available, like the office is going to be closed, but you will need answers at that point. So it's going to be extremely helpful if you know somebody at that brokerage and that you have a relationship with them, you trust them, they're willing to su support you and help you. In those times, pick a brokerage that potentially has that kind of support for you and it'll make your life a lot easier. Step number seven, guys, the brokerages want you. This is in reverse, okay? So typically the nine to five, you like want to you work want to with work. the company. Here, when you're interviewing different brokerages, then all these companies are gonna want you because you're gonna pay them instead of them paying you, right? So they're gonna try to sell you, they're gonna try to tell you, you know, they have the best training. So just understand that you come prepared with questions and gauge how the office is, how they respond, how they're willing to support you, what kind of people you're working with in order to pick the right brokerage. So it's very different. So understand that they are all gonna want you, they're gonna sell to you. So it's very important for you to pick and be decisive and know what you're getting yourselves into before picking the right brokerage. There it is guys, now you know the seven steps to take in order to pick the right brokerage. Now, how do you get started? I've included a very quick guide for you outlining the next steps of how to become an agent. It's in the description below. Also, if you wanna join a community dedicated for new realtors just like yourself to get free tips and strategies in order to catapult your business to the next level, we have a private Facebook group that you can join today to get your business to the next level. It's in the description below. If you found this video helpful, guys, do me a favor, subscribe, like, and comment below. I would love to know your number one takeaway of this video. I would love to connect. Bye for now.